and welcome back to my channel if you do not know me yet my name is candy i'm obsessed with makeup and anything beauty and if you are not subscribed yet please do so before you leave because i have lots of exciting videos coming up so i am extremely excited about today's video because do you guys know that i absolutely love my ghd styler and my contour and um yeah jc contacted me again and they were like hey we want to send you our this is the GHD Glacial Blue Hair Dryer. As you can see, it's got these frosty blue tones running through the hair dryer. And it is just so beautiful. I really, 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 really planned on buying myself a GHD Air. I was just saving up for it. So this is just such a blessing. Thank you so much, GHD. And obviously, I'm trying it out for you guys. I'm giving you all the deets on this hair dryer, why you need this in your life, all the specs and everything. So without further ado, let's get going so obviously when you just like look at it it's really beautiful but when you're spending money on a hair dryer it's actually really important to know what you're spending your money on it's important to buy a hair dryer that has got good technology and good features and settings so i'm going to show you exactly why this ghd air is so great the ghd air retails at 2200 rand using this hair dryer will make your hair dry two times faster which is amazing because we don't always want to spend a lot of time blow waving our hair so here comes the great part right it has also got advanced ionic technology now if you don't know what this is ions basically lock in moisture and deliver softer smoother shinier results and basically it's gonna help you not have that frizzy hair so smoothly hair I could definitely live with that then last but not least it's got three by three variable heat and speed settings which basically just allows you to really regulate the way you want to blow with your hair it has also got this cool setting which you just press while you blow waving and it shoots out cool air so when you're doing like big voluminous curls you can cool down the hair which will help the hair set in that curl and then make it last longer what i also love about it is that it's got this little rubber i don't know what it's called i'm gonna call it a key ring because you can just kind of hang it up on a hook and your ghd is kind of safe without it lying around everywhere it has also got these little rubber stoppers right next to the ghd sign it's very frustrating when you put down your hair dryer and it just glides off your table so this little rubber thingy is going to make sure that it stays there so i'm definitely going to take this guy for a test right now my hair is not like sopping wet i washed it this morning i don't like my hair to be like too wet when i blow wave it so i'll probably dry this a bit more and then go in and blow wave it so basically i applied some spray in conditioner and also heat protectant um i actually have really curly frizzy hair so I'm just gonna start by really just brushing out all of the knots before I'm gonna do a bit of air drying and then go into a blow wave um, I've always had really frizzy frizzy hair so it's been such a struggle for me to get like smooth slick hair always um, and I don't like doing like Brazilian blowouts because I feel like it really makes my hair super flat so I like the volume that I have, but getting this hair smooth is quite a mission. Okay, here we go. Heat on two, and that's the sound of greatness. <laughs> So I like drying most of the wetness out of my hair um, until it's about 50% dry and then I'll take a brush with heat resistant bristles and I kind of just brush through my hair as I blow wave it. This is like the easiest way for me to get most of the curliness out and then it also takes me like 5 minutes until it's almost I'd say 90% dry then I'll go in with uh, blow wave and sometimes if i'm lazy i just do this full on go to bed and the next morning my hair is sleek um, and i sleep on a silk pillow so one thing i'm noticing is that obviously my hair is bushy but usually it is bushy and frizzy when i just kind of do this and it kind of doesn't look bad let me see what happens if i brush it Oh goodness, I don't think this looks terrible. Like I could kind of leave my hair like this. If you just want to do like a quick blow wave to look somewhat decent, I think this is kind of okay. Like I could rock this. Usually when my hair is like this, it's like I said, it's quite frizzy and then I run through it with the 
JGD styler um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take big sections and then kind of blow wave it. So blow waving it usually takes me around 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm done. So there we have it, that's basically how I blow wave my hair. As you can see it's not like super sleek because I like the little bit of volume that it gives me. Like a quick 15 to 20 minute routine that I do and I mean with my extensions my hair is thick, my hair is long. As far as the Jet the Air goes, I absolutely love that it helped me achieve a bit more of a frizz free look and it also made my drying time so much faster. I absolutely love this hair dryer and I'm so 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 happy I have it. It is limited edition for the Christmas season so if you guys want to get your hands on it I will leave the link down below in the description box as well for you to buy it if you are interested but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something and let me know in the comment section what hair dryer you use and if you would ever purchase this GHD Air and yeah I guess that's it from me so until next time stay sweet I'll talk to you soon